Investing $10,000 is enough money to say a significant amount of return on investment. But most of the time people don't know what or where to invest this money. So in this video, I'll be going over 3 ways to invest your first $10,000. Also keep in mind, if you enjoy this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. So enjoy. My first recommendation on investing your $10,000 would be in a retirement account. You can either open up a Roth IRA or a traditional IRA where you could contribute up to $7,000 a year. Then by the age of 59 and a half, you could pull that money out tax free. That means all the money you contributed plus capital gains and returns will be completely tax free. The downsides to investing in an IRA is that you won't be able to touch those returns until the age of 59 and a half. And if you do touch that money, you will have to pay taxes and penalty fees. IRA offers an opportunity to save for a comfortable retirement and whoever is looking for long-term tax advantages. The second way you should invest this money is by starting a business. Starting a business with $10,000 is pretty much up to the point where the sky is the limit. This should be enough money to buy the necessary equipment and anything else you may need to start. Starting a business may give you the best ROI, but it also has the highest failure rate too. This also depends on what type of business you want to start and how well you know it. $10,000 should be enough money if you are thinking about becoming a real estate agent. Or if you are thinking about starting a home pastry business. You can even become a virtual tour guide for the city you live in. Where you record your reviews of the city and then you upload it to YouTube. Once you meet the monetization requirements, you can start earning money. You will only be limited by your creativity. Moving on to my final recommendation, which will be investing that money into individual stocks. $10,000 is enough money to see great returns if you are an experienced trader or if you could pick up well performance stocks. I think it's better to invest into individual stocks with a taxable brokerage account where you will have access to your money whenever you need it. Unlike an IRA where you will have to wait until the age of 59 and a half to pull that money out, otherwise you will have to pay taxes and penalty fees. Investing into individual stocks is for anyone who doesn't mind doing their own research or doesn't mind trading their own stocks. This could be very fun if you are actually making money. So once again, investing $10,000 is enough money to see a great sizable return. Don't expect to see Lambo money at the beginning of your journey, but you do have enough resources to make it possible. So I hope you found this video helpful, and if you did, make sure to leave a like. And if you want to see more videos like these, make sure to subscribe to my channel. I also previously made a video on how to invest your first $1,000. So make sure to check that out. So I appreciate you guys for tuning in. And now it's time for me to tune out.